Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you a brief review for the pilot episode of the new sci-fi science fiction show, Night Flyers. A show that really is ga gathering interest mainly because it is um, based on the books that were written by the same guy who wrote Game of Thrones, G uh, George R. Martin. Um, now, I, I did see a trailer for this a good few months ago, uh, so I knew this show was coming. Uh, I thought the trailer looked okay. Um, and after watching this pilot episode, while I think there are some fairly interesting elements going on in it, it basically, to me, was very much like a tame version of Event Horizon, um, the sci-fi horror film made famous with you know uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill in that film and this film basically focuses on it's the usual thing the earth is doomed all its natural resources have been used up and this night flyers ship is put together to basically try and make first contact with um, an alien species i think they call the vulcans something like that or the vulcan i don't know i think they could have, it could have thought of a better name put it that way and so they set off to try and and the hope is if they can if they can communicate with this alien species they might be a help them and uh, increase their techno our technological advancements to be able to cope with the um environmental hazards that our planet is facing so this mission night flyer sets off um, in the hope to intercept this alien species to communicate with them and they take on board with them uh, a whole array of different crew members most interest interestingly is one of them amongst them who is um, of psychic abilities who nobody likes or trusts because these people don't have a great reputation so he has to be almost like kept under house arrest at all times and controlled medically and all the rest of it and then things start happening on this ship creepy things you know one of them sees his daughter thinks his daughter speaking to him there are a couple of accidents on the ship when the ship first sets off there's a malfunction and then there's somebody in this chamber that malfunctions and almost dies and everybody thinks it's this psychic that's doing it that's messing with the ship and messing with the crew however there's a doctor that is in charge of him that is trying to convince people otherwise that's the basic premise here of this pilot episode what did i think of night flyers well like i hinted really it's a bit dull for a pilot episode, this felt like a very run-of-the-mill sci-fi movie without an ending. Um, that's the best way I can describe it, really. I don't think there was anything particularly wrong with the effects. I thought they were okay. I thought the cast all did a decent job with the roles that they had, even though they were a bit generic and a bit um, standard, kind of stuff you'd expect in a sci-fi show. It's just nothing happened of any real interest it was fairly poorly explained as well as to what were going on and why they were doing this you had to kind of figure it out and piece it all together um it just lots of it just didn't make sense to me you know why why would they bring this psychic on board to communicate with this alien species if if they themselves can't trust this psychic to behave himself and he is pretty nasty how do they trust him to communicate with an alien species? A crucial first contact meeting between this, an alien species. And if you can't communicate with him, your only <laughs> lines of communication land with this unpredictable psychic uh, guy who likes to play games and injure people. Um, so surely there must be other psychics that are more on board with this. Seems like a bizarre choice. And also, I didn't like the way this episode started. It started with chaos. Um, so you know it all goes terribly wrong. And you see some key deaths. 
and then it does this, that awful shift back in time where it, it kind of starts it all off so you know everything goes terribly wrong so that, that the sense of um, progression is it's just not there you know that certain characters are going to do certain things you know certain char characters are going to die and you know it all goes terribly wrong now if the idea was to pique your interest is to ooh, why does it all go wrong it didn't do that for me it did the I had the opposite effect I don't like it when films and TV shows do that sort of thing I'd rather just tell a story from the beginning let us get to know the characters and then we'll feel the impact of what happens to them so I, I, as a pilot episode this I don't think was a particularly strong one I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 um, I don't expect Game of Thrones in space if that if you're a fan of um, his books um, if you've read the books then maybe you'll know better where this progresses to but this pilot episode didn't particularly pique my interest to watch the rest of the episodes however I might wait while they're all out and then I might binge watch them maybe in a few months time if I've got nothing else to watch and I might do a full series review then if um, and let you know if I feel differently about the show so there you go that's Night Flyers guys I hope you enjoyed this review and I shall see you next time on Screen Stars.